Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your March 2018 general reading. Uh, I know last month I did not get done with all of the 12 signs readings, but I'm here for March, so thank you for being here with me. I'll save the announcements till the end. I am battling a cold right now, so you might hear me cough, okay? Here we go. All right, so Aries love going on for Aries in love. Wow, these cards are popping out for you, Aries. The Hangman, the Page of Wands, the Nine of Wands. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for Aries. True, accurate messages for Aries in love. Wow. King of Pentacles. This one on the fourth. All right. At the bottom of the deck, the Five of Cups. I kept getting this off camera when I was shuffling for you. So we've got the Four of Cups and the Five of Cups. Some of you are waiting for a decision from another party. Someone maybe younger than you, fire sign, another fire sign, or just someone younger than you. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Uh, it looks like you guys have been through kind of the up and down in a, in the situation, in the relationship. You put the ball in their court and you were waiting for a message as to what they were going to do with it. And it looks like they might not be taken to the offer. But it's more than just them not taken to your offer. They're not understanding what you're offering. They don't see what you're offering. They can't see that this is a blessing. You you could very well be the blessing. Could be that you're dealing with the Capricorn Virgo Taurus, Sun Moon Arising, or another fire sign. Alright. So then it takes you to grief. I feel like you don't grieve this long. Then the four of swords is under here. Yeah, I just feel like you go into meditation, you kind of, I don't know why, because this is a heavy card. That's some heavy grief, but I just don't feel like you grieve this very long. Hmm. All right, let's pull another spread for Aries love. Thank you for the messages for Aries love, love life, messages of love clarity messages to govern to guide their lives thank you lord thank you thank you thank you creator for true messages from you thank you thank you for the messages for aries and love messages for aries and love messages for aries and love what are the messages for aries and love messages Okay, the hermit. All right, so it's time for some of you to go within Ace of Swords. Wow, because you get clarity. That true clarity that allows you to chart a new path, to go in a new direction. And a direction that alters your life as it is right now. I'm going to take cards from here. King of Pentacles again. The Emperor You. The Four of Wands. The Chariot. The Empress. Wow. The bottom of the deck. The Queen of Pentacles. King and Queen. Emperor and Empress. This is a real dynamic situation Aries um, whomever you're dealing with male or female you know you know or same sex whatever you guys are mirroring each other you guys come with the same qualities the attraction the power the groundedness the the work the ethic is there the relationship is here 
going within either for you or the other person could be a Virgo Capricorn Virgo Taurus going within brings some truth and clarity and then you're able to move in a different path or maybe your partner's able to to move in that path of where you guys can come together I'm looking at these cards right now. You guys are not looking at each other. You're close. The relationship is here. But one of you or both of you need to get in control of how you talk to each other, how you communicate with each other. Get on the same page. What do you want? Because the dynamic is here. You could be dealing with the cancer. You guys are both grounded, solid. This is a real dynamic situation. I, I'm spending a little time on this, the Empress and the Emperor, and then the King and Queen of Pentacles coming out. I've never seen it like that. For for, And I've done several, several spreads. Um, somebody get some truth and clarity with going in, go, going within about how dynamic this relationship really is. I don't think they knew in the past. And it was kind of like in the last spread. It's like you put the ball in their court. They didn't take to the offer. They could not see. They, they still could not see. Maybe they're going to see now how dynamic you two are. Dynamic in the in the mindset of or in the, the scheme of there's something there's reason why you guys need to be together the emperor and the empress the king and queen of pentacles you guys are not on the same page you need to get on the same page you need to to be able to uh, marry the light and the dark understand both of understand each other uh, differences understand that it's the yin and the yang understand that this person comes with these qualities and my counterpart comes with other qualities that i may not have strength and weakness what's your strength what's my strength what's your weakness what's you know my weakness uh i wow i you know this person can hold you up when you fall short wow that's pretty amazing Aries I don't know who you who you seeing or who you not seeing it doesn't look like you guys are pretty much real active right now uh, but you know the um, the extent of the relationship all right Aries finance a career, career and finance, Aries, career and finance, career and finance, Aries, career and finance, messages for Aries, career and finance, what can Aries look forward to in career and finance, career and finance for Aries, the Hierophant, all right, so you're going to be dealing with some big institutions, you might already work at a big institution, you might be trying to get a job at another big institution. Wow, you might lose your job at a big institution, but this might be something that Two of Cups, United Wands. I'm going to pull. No, I'm not. I wasn't told to do that, but at the bottom of the deck. The Nine of Wands. Off, just looking at this Aries, um,
Nine of Wands here, Two of Cups. Knight of Wands. Okay, so what I feel and what I'm hearing is that, okay, you've been in a certain position, a certain job for a number of years. You've been doing the same job, same position for a number of years. There, There is room for promotion, but I don't think you've received it. I don't even think you're really going after it at, at this point. Um... For some of you, Aries, it's more so uh, you wanting or there is an ending to some traditionalism surrounding your work. Traditionally doing the 9 to 5, waking up, going through traffic, getting to work, doing your work, getting back in traffic, going home. You're tired of the traditional. You want to do what you love, what connects you on a more emotional basis. What I just heard is that for some of you, it is time or you feel like it can be time for you to do that because you don't have small children to worry about. I don't even know where that came from. So you feel like you can now engage in a career that um that you love that you enjoy that fulfills you on an emotional level and you're rushing toward it look what look at that ending passionate new beginning you've been through a lot and you contemplated this a lot. This is also contemplation with the Nine of Wands here. Wow, then the Hangman and then the Nine of Wands. You're really contemplating this. You re really waited for the other shoe to drop. The other shoe to drop with the Hangman might be the ending. The ending of corporate America. The ending of traditionalism. The ending of, yeah, what you traditionally did for a number of years. Now it's it's about... I'm willing I'm I heard I'm willing to put that hustle in. I'm willing to make this work because I, I absolutely love it. And I and I could love doing this each and every day cuz I'm tired of this, whatever this may be. All right. Nice Aries. All right, I'm going to move on to home and family. Thank you for the messages for home and family. True, accurate messages for home and family for Aries. Home and family for Aries. Messages of home and family for Aries. Home and family for Aries. Messages of love and light. Messages to govern and guide their lives. Thank you, thank you, thank you for messages of home and family for Aries. Knight of Cups. Nice. Emotional offer. Extending the cup. Cup of love. All right. Ace of Cups. Nice. Aries. Home and family. Home and family for Aries. The Tower. All right. The Sun. Queen of Cups. Two of Swords. Okay, Seven of Wands, Empress, Star, Queen of Pentacles, the Magician, King of Swords. Some of you could have air in your chart. I see Aquarius here, and then King of Swords is definitely Aquarius. Home and family. <clears throat> We got a lot of queens here. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, the Magician. Home and family.
Okay, so Aries. You're trying to make something work and manifest something here with maybe a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. It looks like, you know, there, there might be another party involved in and what you're in your relationship and or your established relationship or what you're trying to establish with someone else there is some thing or someone else involved could be a gemini gymnastics gemini specifically that you're involved with You thought that that, and they're very male, very well may be love here, like genuine love and like and wanting to be in something with you here with the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups. But what the universe said is there's some things you don't know. It was built on maybe faulty, shaky ground. So the universe came in with the tower, brought it down for you, which illuminated some things to you. Maybe open up your intuition here with the Queen of Cups to where you had to make a decision or you have to make a decision or someone else has to make a decision. They're defensive or you're defensive, Aries. Looks like you may be defensive or just defending your, your, your stance, your ground. You thought there was genuine love and it very well may be but the universe because you are so intuitive in check with spirituality and are and grounded the universe did this for you illuminated some things for you broke this this uh relationship or whatever it may have been broke it down so you could see some things so illumination can come in with the sun to where you would have to make a decision in regards to knowing that maybe there's someone else here in your home and family life. Either this is an admirer of your partner or vice versa. Truth and clarity is here. Truth and clarity came to you because you you are intuitive. Spiritual download well, with the Ace of Cups and the Star. You're trying to manifest something here. Also, Aries, or maybe somebody's trying to manifest something with you. But there's a lot of indecision because of not knowing what what's on the other side. Yeah. And what did I say? Another another party here. I'm hearing that somebody was praying for things to be revealed. It felt good. It it, it was good, but at the same time there were little inklings of red flags and because of the red flags you stayed highly intuitive and in prayer with the queen of cups here in which the universe did you that favor there might be some divorce and separation here if you're dealing with an air sign or you have air in your chart or I don't know. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, 
Cancer. You got to make the decision. Are you in or are you out? Are you going to stay or are you going to go? After finding out about maybe another party involved. In your home and family life. All right, let's do spirituality and inner growth. Wow. Spirituality and inner growth for Aries. True messages of spirituality and inner growth for Aries. Messages of spirituality and inner growth for Aries. Knight of Cups again. Messages of spirituality, inner growth for Aries. Messages letting them know what they should be focused on in their spiritual growth. The star. Temperance. Hierophant. Wow. Page of Wands. Bottom of the deck. Eight of Wands. Ultimately, Aries, do know that spirit is with you. Definitely. Seek guidance. Seek wisdom. Because once you do, you'll get that message. And it'll come quick. Things will start to move rapidly. Wow, and then the Queen of Wands is under the Eight of Wands. And then the Knight of Wands. What did I say? That is some fast energy. And then the Nine of Cups. Wow. <clears throat> whatever you're waiting on, Aries, or whatever you're praying for, or whatever you're trying to engage in, in healing with or in regards to, it's coming. And it's coming fast. And it it's nothing but rapid movement. We've got nothing but fire cards. And that's you know how you are, Aries, you know. You you're gonna move fast. You're gonna you're gonna have a go ahead. This might be in reference to career and finance too. Your wish is fulfilled there. This is good. It's up. That's what I heard. It's almost like the, the universe is saying, "Yes, this is good." You gotta wait for perfect time and balance. Write down your dreams. Hierophant is also about control. In a sense. It's not man manipulative control or dominant control. It's, just, it's more so control of self via govern governing yourself accordingly to whatever it is you you um you hold as a high philosophy for your life. In short, you know, that's, you know, spirituality, whatever spiritual practice you're in, govern yourself according to that. That'll bring the balance and the control and then the wish fulfillment and things will move fast. Nine of Cups and a star, that's just definitely wish fulfillment. And then the Knight of Cups bringing this to you whatever this emotional fulfillment is whatever you've been praying about praying for 
I feel like it's in career and finance for the opportunity. It's coming. It's here for you. Okay. Looks really, really, really good. Aries. Wow. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get some advice cards. Let me close this out. Thank you for advice for Aries. True, accurate messages of advice for Aries. Two cards of advice for love for Aries. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for two cards of advice for love for Aries. Religion and spirituality. End of an era. Wow. So, religion and spirituality, pretty much straightforward. In love, religion and spirituality. You and someone else could be not of the same religion or spiritual practice. And if not that, because I'm really not feeling like it's that, I'm really feeling like you are going to gain clarity about a situation via religion and spirituality, which will bring the end of an era and end of a of con of contemplation about should I stay or should I go? You have the nine of wands. You have the two of swords. In love. And home and family. It's closely tied to love. Rely heavily on your religion and your spirituality. Because they'll give you the messages you need. Thank you for two cards. For career and finance. Career and finance. Career and finance for Aries. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you for messages. Career and finance for Aries. Okay. I, I honestly don't know which ones it takes. We're going to put those back. So many fell out. Career and finance for Aries. Career and finance for Aries. Career and finance for Aries. Looks like nothing wants to come out. Career and finance for Aries. Career and finance. Heavenly signs. If you... If you felt like this was a coincidence, if you felt like, oh, wow, that really relates to me via music, uh, television, someone being in conversation and something just ding, just dawns on you and just dings you, that's a heavenly sign. Uh, seeing a sign. Uh, finding something that just really speaks to you in regards to maybe your career and finance relationship dynamics and career and finance <clears throat> relationship dynamics talks about the dynamics of a relationship ch having changed or um or are changing uh which makes uh makes you see things differently you're more sensitive to what's going on or what's not going on. I felt that in your career and finance with the death card and the higher fence, like you have been doing the same thing for so long. The relationship between your your career and how you feel about it has changed. Something shifted. Something entered, something left. The, the dynamics have changed for you. Okay. Courage when they come out. 
I'm going to put that there for you. That's pretty self-explanatory. Have the courage to move forward after realizing these heavenly signs, knowing that the relationship and the nature of of, uh, of your uh, career and finance have changed. Have the courage to move forward, whatever that may be. Family and home life. Family and home life. Two cards for family and home. Welcome the new. Nice. Welcome the new. Welcome the new is pretty much welcome whatever is new. Seeking and finding. Welcome the new is <clears throat> for some of you this could be a new relationship or a new opportunity to rebuild an old relationship seek it and find it for some of you you have been seeking what what you're seeking is is uh, seeking you and you will find it do know with seeking and finding that's only one it's only one aspect of that. What do you do after you find? If you don't have a plan of action, then you should stop seeking. If nothing is going to change, then you should not be seeking. Uh, seeking and finding is... Uh, it's almost about enlightenment, too. With enlightenment, nothing can stay the same. If you're enlightened of a situation now, you should uh, be moving forward. Spirituality and inner growth. Retirement. So this will be actual retirement for some of you. Actual physical retirement. Um, or this could just be... This card also talks about a change in career. A change in the hours of how you do your job. Excuse me. A change in hours with your current job you may be at a full-time position now and you may say i'm tired i don't want to fully retire but i'm at a place where i want to i can now cut my hours in half uh, because i want to put my time elsewhere i, I feel that way especially in career and finance um spirituality is telling you Spirituality and inner growth is telling you it's, it's time now for you to do what you love, what fulfills you on a soul basis. Spirituality and inner growth. Self-employment. Wow. I mean, come on. This, and this is what you've been wanting to do. You've been wanting to pu put your time and effort into something else and something that fulfills you on a soul level. Religion and spirituality. Heavenly signs. They're telling you this is good. This is good. Welcome the new. Seeking and finding. Self-employment. If you have not already been thinking about self-employment, make it a thought now. But for this card to pop out, you have already. There's an end of an era. End of how you... you. Um, I know it's in, it's in love, but in relationship dynamics and career and finance, it's, things have changed. Things are shifting. Have the courage to move forward either... I'm hearing alone, self-employment, self-employment. Self All right, Aries, so if this resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Thank you to those who've already done so. Thank you to those who've requested readings. Thank you to those who just keep coming back. Um, remember, Aries, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, and I look forward to talking to you you guys in April, right? Oh my gosh, it's flying by. All right. Bye guys.